we're going to be making a buttermilk pecan pie. This is Bob's Red Mill baking mix. Three quarters of a cup. One quarter teaspoon of aluminum free baking powder. One tablespoon of sugar. A pinch of salt. Not much salt. Okay, we're going to mix that and set it aside. I have one egg that I've slightly beaten up. We have some melted butter. Now we're going to add our flour mixture and this is just the crust that we're making now. It's not the pie. So I've got to be able to work with it. Okay. And this is a gluten-free recipe is why we're doing it this way. A regular recipe would be done. You'd roll it out like a regular pie crust and go with it. Gluten-free. Get in here and mash it out to make a crust. I just got it. I'll sprinkle it a little. I'm just going to press it up the sides, make sure the bottom is leveled out. And that's like one of the easiest pie crust I've ever seen. You don't have to. Okay, our pie crust is out of the oven. We're going to make the buttermilk pie now. It calls for one and a half cups of sugars, and this is a half a cup thing, so we're going to do three of these. And we're adding it to one stick of melted, well, room temperature butter that I've got going here. And we're going to cream these two together, the sugar and the butter. A little more flour. Almond milk with lemon. Here we have our pie crust that's been baked for 20 minutes. We add our pie mixture. And then we top it with pecans. We're going to bake this about an hour at 350 until the pie does not shake anymore. It'll kind of settle. Okay, our buttermilk pecan pie is out of the oven. See, when you shake it, it doesn't move in the middle. That means it's done. We're going to cut it here in a little bit. Okay, this is what the buttermilk pecan pie looks like. You can see it's kind of a custard-like interior with the crust that it makes itself on top with your pecans. Here is a slice. Isn't that awesome? Just like the best tasting pie ever.